Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Glory to God. This is where we give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names. Thank you for tuning in today, guys. So, um, you know, it's January 9th here in the United States. Uh, I'm here uh, in a strategic location. Some of you, a lot of you will probably recognize it and it's not by accident. And I just want to share this verse today uh, because I think it's absolutely appropriate for the times. This is from Ephesians 6.12 that reads, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And, you know, what that means, guys, and I know there's a lot of struggle, and, and, and this is not a political message. Um, it doesn't really matter what your politics are because we're still engaged in the same battles. It's a spiritual war. You've heard people say that before. It's a spiritual war. And what I really want to emphasize to everybody uh, in this point in time that we're going through is even if you disagree with your neighbor, even if you disagree with your friend, I mean, there's even disagreements within families these days. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. These people are not our enemies. They never were our enemies. What we're fighting against is spiritual warfare, is wickedness in high places of principalities and the power of the air just as it says in Ephesians 6 12 so you know if you're wondering what to do if you're wondering how to handle um, just you know what might be going on in your life if you're if you're feeling a lot of friction and again it doesn't really matter what your politics are because um, this is still about spiritual warfare um, it's always about good and evil and just like the Bible says in, in Ephesians 6 and 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Again, our brothers and sisters out here on the streets are not our enemies. Your neighbors are not your enemies. So, you know, I just want to encourage you guys in times that I know are very difficult for many. Um, it's always about prayer. It's always about worship. It's always about getting right with God. I encourage everyone to get right with God. Uh, no matter where you're at, um, uh, to have a, a personal revival in your own life, uh, to, to, to get into more prayer, to get into more praise, to get into more fasting, which is something that, that I've been slacking on lately, uh, I'll admit, is my fasting. Um, because, again, we're not, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're wrestling, we're wrestling against principalities in the powers of the air. Uh, we're in spiritual warfare, and that's the context it is. So... You know, again, I know um, the political environment in our country is very heated right now. It doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on, guys. Um, you know, we're not each other's enemies. And I just hope everybody keeps that in mind um, and, and just keeps the spirit of the Lord inside them and, and have the spirit of love and of peace uh, towards one another. So I um, just want to encourage everybody today. And, uh, um, you know, thank you for tuning in. All right.